Hello everyone. Welcome to another Blender tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to create this exact animation in Blender. So let's get started. Delete everything except the default cube from the scene. With the cube selected tab into edit mode and select the top face. Press X and select the Now tab out edit mode. Move the value of the shape key to see the animation. Now go to wireframe mode. Press shift plus D to duplicate the box. Press S to scale the new box to the size you want. And G to move it if needed. Repeat this till you get the number of boxes you need. Select the first cube. Go to frame 1. Press I and insert a keyframe for location and rotation. Now go to the shap e keys value press I with value 0 to insert a keyframe. Now go to frame 10. Insert a location and rotation keyframe by pressing I. Also set the value of the shape key to 1 and press I to insert a keyframe. Now select the next box. On frame 10 insert a location rotation keyframe for the box. Go to frame 20 and bring the box upward on Z axis by pressing G and then Z. Go to the shape keys and with the value as 0 and insert a keyframe. 
Go to frame 30 insert a location rotation keyframe. Set the shape key value to 1 and add a keyframe. Do this for cube 2, 3, and 4. Remember that for each cube add a location rotation keyframe at every 10 frames. Shape key values are applied to be 1 only at the end of a cube. Now select the last. Insert a location rotation keyframe. Go 10 frames further and bring it to the top by pressing G and then Z. Insert a location rotation keyframe. Go to 10 frames further click R then Z and type 360. Now click on I to insert a location rotation keyframe. Also add a keyframe for shape key with value 0. Move 10 frames further and add a keyframe for the shape keys with a value of 1. Now preview the animation. Now add a floor for the boxes to rest on. Scale and position the plane as needed. Select an edge and press E and Z to extrude it in the Z direction. Scale and position the plane where you want. Now let's add in a camera. Shift plus A and select camera. I have added a brownish material for the boxes. Now let's add in the heart which should pop up. So for this we need to enable an add-in. So go to edit. Select preferences. Go to add-ons and search for extra objects. Enable extra objects mesh and also curve. Now let's add a math function. Click on shift plus a. Select mesh and select math function. Select xyz math surface. The equations of a heart are given in the description. Copy paste this is the X, Y, and Z equations. Enable close V and disable V wrap. Position it such that it fits inside the last cube.
add in a solidify modifier and also a subdivision surface modifier. Apply the modifiers. Now let's animate it. Go to frame 90 and insert a location and rotation keyframe. Animate it such that it always stays inside the last box. Move to frame 100 and move the cube to the location of the box and insert a keyframe. Go to frame 110 and insert a location rotation scale keyframe. Go to frame 120 bring the heart upward by pressing G and then Z. Also scale a bit. Hit I and insert a rotation location scale keyframe. Go to 10 frames further click R then Z and type 360. Hit I and insert a rotation location scale keyframe. With the heart selected go to materials and add a material for the heart. Add a material for the plane. Add in some area lights and arrange them. You can use the sun as well. Add a subdivision surface for the plane and scale it. Position it the way you need. Now adjust the camera and scene and render it. Well now you have created a heart pop. What if you wanted to create a living ice cream? Well that's the topic for another